So we have obtained two ordinary differential equations, d2x by dx squared plus b square x equal to zero, and d2y by dy square minus b square y equal to zero. Equations three and four. And if I the first let, let us solve equation number three. So the auxiliary equation of the auxiliary. The auxiliary equation of equation three is so we simply to place the second order derivative with m square m square plus p square equal to zero. And this implies m equal to plus minus p. So that means the solution is x equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sine px. Let us call this equation number five. Similarly, let us solve equation number four. So the auxiliary equation of the auxiliary equation of equation four is from this we have m square minus p square equal to zero. This implies m equal to plus minus p. This implies m equal to plus minus p. That means y is equal to, that means capital Y is equal to C3 e to the power p times y plus C4 e to the power minus p times y. Let us call this equation number six. Sir. Yes. Uh, auxiliary equation number uh, three though. Why? Okay. Uh, m equal to plus minus p, sir. Oh, sorry, I, Wale. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, here should be I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go. M square equal to minus p square. La, la, ni dun ba? Kasi b square la ordi. M equal to plus minus i times p la kada wala. So uh, m equal to plus minus i times i times p. That means the roots are imaginary. Imaginary roots, therefore we have cos and sine. There you go. So we can proceed now. <clears throat> so from e equation number six and seven, uh, sorry, uh, from e e equations five and equation number six, what do we get? So when we substitute uh, this equation number five, and six to the original equation number two. Oh, I'm gonna substitute in, let us write. Eh. Substitutes, substituting equation, equations five and six in Equation two. What is equation two? Equation two is this. Oh. In equation two, we have u equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sine px multiplied by c3 e to the power p times y plus c4 e to the power minus p times y. Let us call this equation number seven. So we have got equation number seven from equation number two. Equation number two, the equation number seven. Now let us use the initial conditions. So, so what, uh, what are the initial conditions and the boundary conditions? Here we have only boundary conditions here. U x zero y equal to zero. That means when x is zero, the value of u is zero. So let us first use this condition. 
u equal to zero at x equal to zero in equation seven. We get when you put x equal to zero, this becomes cos zero. And, and what is the value of cos zero? Cos zero is one. At x equal to zero, u is u is equal to zero. That means the left hand side is zero. Zero. This is cos zero. Cos zero is one. So this is c one. Sine zero, sine zero is zero. There we go. Sine zero is zero. Ni. Therefore, see term J, C1 and I have So we, we get only C1 from this term. Then we get C3 e to the power py plus C4 e to the power minus py. See Pang. There we go. So I have a product of two, two, two values, C1 and the value inside this bracket, their product is zero. That means either the term inside the bracket is zero or C1 is zero. The term inside the bracket cannot be zero. So you bracket one of the terms is zero. But you know, if this term is zero, that means this term, this whole term is zero. This whole term is zero means U is zero, always. CD zero The only condition is that, this implies C1 is equal to zero. There we go. So this implies C1 is equal to zero. There we go. Therefore, so when I substitute C1 equal to zero in equation number seven, we get, therefore equation seven gives, therefore equation seven gives, C1 zero to I have, C2 sine u is equal to C2 sine px multiplied by C3 e to the power py plus C4 e to the power minus py. So let us call this equation number A. So we have used the first boundary condition. Now let us use the Second boundary condition. And what, what is the second boundary condition? The second boundary condition says that when x is equal to L, u is equal to zero. So let us use the second boundary condition. So <clears throat> putting x, uh, putting u equal to zero, at x equal to L, we get, so this is zero, x will be L. There we go. So this is C2 sine P L. C3 e to the power P Y plus C4 e to the power minus P Y. There we go. So, <clears throat> now I have a product of three terms, C2, sine PL, then this term inside the bracket. As we have seen earlier, this term inside the bracket cannot be zero. C0 is already, zero is already. If this is zero, my U will always be zero, but that is not what we want. And C2 cannot be zero, because if C2 is zero, then, from this expression, we know that you will also be zero for all values of x and y. And that is not what we want. So, so what is the only possibility left? The only possibility left is that sine PL is equal to zero. Therefore, this implies sine PL is equal to zero. There we go. This means PL equal to n pi. PL equal to n pi where n is 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Sorry, n cannot be 0, n is 1, 2, 3, and so on. So this implies p is equal to n pi by l. 
and it comes. So P equal to n pi by L. So let us put this value of P in equation number eight here, and then we shall have a new expression for U. So let me write it down on a new sheet of paper. Okay. Therefore, equation eight becomes, therefore, equation, equation eight becomes, here we have equation eight here, let me show it to you here. Equation eight is C2 sine PX. And now for P, we have to sub substitute N pi by L. Therefore, equation eight will become U, is equal to C2 sine n pi by L x multiplied by C3 e to the power py plus C4 e to the power minus py. Let us call this equation number nine. There you go. Okay. We have equation number nine. Now let us use the third boundary condition. What is the third boundary condition? When y is equal to zero, u is equal to zero. So putting, so putting, putting u equal to zero at y equal to zero, we get, we get this left hand side is zero left hand side is zero, and this is equal to, when, when you put y equal to zero, this becomes one, this also becomes one. So we have C2 sine n pi x pi L within bracket, C3 plus C4. This is one, this is one. Now C2 cannot be zero, this cannot be zero. That means the only possibility is that C3 plus C4 equal to zero. So this implies C3 plus C4 will be equal to zero, implies C4 equal to minus C3. So let us substitute this in equation number nine. Therefore equation nine becomes, therefore equation nine becomes, becomes <clears throat> U equal to C2 multiplied by C3, C2, C2, C3, this is C3 and this C4 becomes minus C3. So I can take C3 common and I take it outside. So C2, C3, sine n pi x by L. There we go. The within bracket e to the power py. And what is p? p values the cycle. So the p values option the double so this instead of this p, we, we should have written it as n pi by n pi by l y. So this would be n pi by l times y. This would also be minus n pi by l times y. So this would be n pi by l times y. Sorry. Mm. U2 is, sorry, u is c2 c3 sine n pi by l x e to the power n pi by l y. And you see c, c4 is minus c3 or even now, this is minus e to the power minus n pi by l y. This is nothing but two times sine hyperbolic of this exponent. So this is nothing but c2, c3, sine, n by x by l two times sine hyperbolic sine hyperbolic n pi by l y so let us call it equation number 10 so we get u as this okay now let us use the last boundary condition what is the last boundary condition the last boundary condition is that when y is equal to a, 
three L sine n pi by L x. So let us use this boundary condition using using the condition u equal to sine n pi by l x at y equal to a. y equal to a, we get this left hand side becomes sine n pi by l x. This right hand side is, this is twice, twice c2, c3 sine n pi by l x sine hyperbolic sine hyperbolic n pi by l y sine n pi by l x and n pi by l x these two will cancel out so <clears throat> what remains is twice c2 c3 is multiplied by this is equal to one so this implies c2 c3 is equal to one by two sine hyperbolic n pi by l pi. Now, substituting this value of c2 and c3 in equation number 10, what did, what did you get? Putting this value, in equation 10, we get, U is equal to equation 10 you equal to C2, C3 ki mahuta, 1 by 2 sine hyperbolic n pi by L. This is not y. This I say the y equal to A since eleven. This is not y, sorry. This should be A. This is not y, this would be A. At the value y equal to A, I get this expression never going to see y not this is A ni This is not y, this is A. So u equal to we get see C in sine n pi sine n pi x by l d let us write this first sine hyperbolic n pi by l y hadana see this sine hyperbolic sine hyperbolic n pi by and pi by L A. This is the required solution. This is the required solution. 